This is Think Tech Hawaii. Community matters here. Okay, we're back, we're live, and I was saying to Gordon Bruce, people don't realize the huge disruptive implications of Amazon Go, which just opened in Seattle. Welcome to your show, <laughs> Gordon. <laughs> my tech show. Well, actually yeah, talk, we're going to call it. Well, we're going to call it Think Tech Tech Talks. But you know, there's there's a, there's a, there's a fine line between that and Hibachi Talks. Yeah. And Gordon is the host of Hibachi Talks. And so, um, I mean, Hibachi Talks, the world listens. Yes, yes. it does. It should I tell you. I was at the, the Pacific Telecommunications Conference 2018 this morning. It was really interesting. How many people knew about Think Tech? people approaching me from foreign countries yes. and saying, I know you, I don't know them. Well, I know you, they've seen us on ThinkTech. This is amazing. It has global reach. A lot of people. Global reach. Global reach. Yeah. You predicted this. <laughs> you encouraged it. You know, at least 10, 15 years, 15 years ago. I remember where and when. It was at that moon place. Remember the moon yeah, place? Yeah, the beer place. Yeah, the other beer place. Yeah. Yeah. I remember where you were standing when you said that. <laughs> <laughs> I said, no, impossible. Here we got people from Europe approaching us and saying, I saw you on Think Tech in Europe, and now I'm here, and I see you in the flesh. Wonderful. Yeah. yeah. You giving out autographs? Uh, no. 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 <laughs> no, that's what comes with the I check. I took a picture of them. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so let's talk about Amazon Go. Yeah. And I spotted it this morning. I think it was in The Guardian, maybe The Times. And I said, whoa, stop everything. You know, I got to call Gordon. We got to talk about this. BBC, this, this, is so BBC um, this morning. BBC, too. Yeah. They have really turned a corner on something. Yeah. yeah. This is beyond disruptive. It's going to change. Retail, and if you change retail, you change the world. So tell us. So, so this is Amazon Go. This is not air. This is not drone delivery, right? Any of this? So, tell us what you saw today when you saw what Amazon Go is. Did okay, it? it's, it's a store. Yeah, it's a store. Amazon and it's a store. a store. You walk into the store. The functionality. You walk into the store. You, you t they give you a bag. You pick up a bag. It's a take, grocery store too, and it's, it's not a grocery like a store. store. A lot of little things. Yeah. yeah, a lot of little things in the grocery store. Low margins, as you said. Yeah. <clears throat> so you take a piece of food or something off the counter, and you put it in the bag, and you walk out. That's it, and you're billed. That's right. Automatically. So you walk in with your mobile phone. You scan a QR code when you walk in. Yeah. That's it. Yeah. And now you walk around the store. You take things off the shelf. You put them in your bag. And when you walk out, you're billed. Now, how are they doing that? Right. So uh, that's the, the purpose thing, of the show. show yeah. So how are they doing it? How are they doing it? So we say to our, our viewers, so how are they doing it? Well, they're going to go, oh, microchips? Not. Not. Uh, okay. Uh, QR codes? Not. Not. <laughs> not doing that either. Okay. What's left? <laughs> what could it possibly be? I know the answer, but why don't we schmice okay, about so that? Okay. What could it be, Possibly Gordon? What could it be? I know. It's, got this, it's, it's amazing. So you've got this situation where I walk in and I walk out and I'm billed. Yeah. Now, what if I take it off the shelf and I put it back? It knows. What if I take it off the shelf and put it back in the wrong, on the wrong shelf? Ah. It knows. It knows? It knows. It knows that too. And, God, and someone's know? alerted to go put it back on the right shelf. How does it know? It knows. It knows. <laughs> it's so smart. Are you feeling a little scared now? It's brilliant. It, it's, it's, you can it's imagine an army of engineers working on this. And it's something that's been around for a long time. Yeah. It's something been around well, for a long time. PTC, some guy told me today that, 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 that this kind of shop, it, they have this already in the UK, but smaller style. Yeah. This is a shop of what? 5,700 square feet. That's yeah. a lot of footage. It's a big a lot, yeah. store. But that 5,700 square feet is not that big when you think about it because the, um, the Safeway store in um, Kapolei, which is around, that's a quarter of an acre. Yeah. That's 10,000 plus square feet. Yeah, yeah. So it's half of that Safeway store. Yeah, but it's more efficient. You more know why? Efficient. You don't have to have any, any space reserved for, for cashiers. Right. No well, space. the checkout business, no need. No need. And so, oh, and then I've heard this now. We're still not going to tell them how they're doing it yet. No, so we will. We we'll, will. We'll, yeah, yeah, hang around. Watch, we'll tell you. We'll tell you. No moving fast forward. <laughs> so anyway, so here's, here's the, the thing is that, you know, so no cashiers. What about all these poor people that are going to lose all their jobs? I saw someone on, someone on television today just crying in their soup about all these people that are going to lose their jobs because there's no longer going to be a need for a teller. So is that going to be the case? Those are not desirable jobs. I'm those, sorry. Those, so yeah, right. So I'm here. Well, those aren't the kind of jobs that Americans want to do. <laughs> now, we're, now, we're, now we're back to Dreamers and DACA yeah, and all this. Back to immigration again. It all goes to immigration. So, but I'm going, so my argument is, well, wait a minute. Someone had to write the code for that. Right? Someone had to design the system. Someone still has to stock the shelves. 
right? Someone still has to manufacture the product and the good that enables you to get walk out of that store. All of that has to be done at a higher paying job than it would you bet. for a minimum wage checkout. Yeah, it has person. to be bulletproof if you're going to do it that it's, way. Especially with low margins in retail. Yeah. yeah. It's got to be bulletproof. Yeah. And so that's why this is an experiment in, in Seattle. Now, yeah. if it works, what's it going to do to Amazon, uh, not Amazon, uh, Walmart, Target, all the other stores are going to start looking at it. And by the way, I started in groceries, delivering groceries on my bicycle. Then I ended up being a bag. I got promoted to a bag boy. That was someone who bagged your groceries. I remember. And then I got. You think you're the only one? I know. Right, yes, right. And, and I stock shelves. Hey, there's no such thing as a shelf stocker anymore. Who no, no who stocks the shelves now? The retailer of the product. Right. You know, the they bread comes in. in it right. the, they come and put it on the shelf. And they're happy to do it. And they're happy to do it. And because they get the position where what, what product goes where on the shelves and so on. And people buy what, buy their location. You cannot fight Canadian Canada Dry uh, ginger ale at this level. It's down the bottom because it's not a big seller. Coca Cola, Pepsi, all the big names are at this eye level. Right. All the stuff that. That's, it's all a map. It's a map. Map. And that's how it is. And when the retailer, I mean, the wholesaler comes in, he knows where he wants to put it. I mean, he's permitted to put it. He's, and he wants to be sure it goes in that place because. He had to negotiate for that right. place. So know. don't give me the story about all these poor hundreds of thousands of tellers that are going to be out of a job at the end of when this all happens, when this goes mainstream. Oh, by the way, do you still go to Home Depot, Lowe's, and do self-service checkout? The grocery stores, you still do self-service checkout. Whole Foods, still doing service checkout. I don't see um, yeah, self-service yeah, checkout at Whole Foods. Walmart down the block is automated, yeah, for all, sure. Yeah, Walmart, self-service. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, how about travel agents? Travel agents are like a thing of the past. You book your own travel yeah, now. Yeah, right. So I'm not, this, 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 this story about all these hundreds of thousands of It's all about software. It's all about software. It's creating new positions, hire great paying jobs. But what a cool thing, right? You walk in there and you walk around and you grab one soda or a six pack of beer, whatever you want. You put it in your bag. Put it in your bag. And then you like a real like, shoplifter. You put it in, it, it, what did the article say? <laughs> so, you know, you, you have a sort of guilt complex when you do that. I know. You, you feel like a shoplifter. You feel, but you're not a shoplifter. You're not just there. You walked in, you walked out, and you got your groceries. You just, you, now, you, now, and, and no, no paper receipt. Hey, for all the tree huggers out there, we just saved mm -hmm. hundreds of thousands of trees as a result of this. What about the ink that's getting, ink you get, it's all on, on this device here. So yeah, yeah, yeah. it's all there and yeah, already yeah. something you carry with you already. Yeah, it's all of these things we've been watching, you know, develop over the past few years. Yeah. For Apple, for example, when you go and the salesman talks to you and he punches it in, yeah. you know, I mean, it's, it's, it's that plus it's all these things that we've been tinkering with. Amazon has, has put them together, assimilated all these technologies. And bring it all together. And I'm hard, I can already wait when Amazon starts taking cryptocurrencies as a form of payment. Imagine if they would, they would credit my Bitcoin account when I walked in and out. Right, that would be that would be pretty darn good. <laughs> I know you and I got to do a show on that one day. But I mean, but you know, the fact that I could use cryptocurrencies as my form of payment, yeah. just like in and out, and, and you know, it's only a matter of time when they're all going to be, be automated. All going to be automated. And furthermore, well, we we should talk about it after the break. But you know. One of the things is, where does Hawaii fit on this? Is yes. Hawaii able to do this? Yes. I mean, do we, do we have the sort of the, the intellectual uh, openness to figure this out and to bring it in and, and have it work for us? But anyway. After the we, break, we'll, I talk about legislators who've talked to me about this. Oh, yeah? Yes. Wow, you're ahead after of the, the game, break. for sure. Yeah. And after the break, oh, this is a big break. Um, the, the, the multiple cliffhanger break. Also, we're going to tell them, right? You, you promised me. We're going to tell, tell them, them what how it works. The technology is. I know it's amazing. <laughs> okay, break. Okay, you remember the guy at my left, that's Gordon Bruce. He's the host of Hibachi Talk. 
And uh, he's also the tech czar, if you want to know, frankly. And he's here to talk about Amazon Go, which just came out, you know, in the paper. I mean, it's, it's, it's going to go viral all over the world. They're going to be talking about it. Yeah. And later on, I want to talk about how that will work. But first, the big cliffhanger is, how does it work that somebody walks in, puts something in a bag, walks out, no chips, no, what do you no, call it? No chip, no QR code. Nothing. Nothing. And somehow Amazon knows you put it in the bag and, and they charge you. How do they, they charge do you. that? So the key is you walk in with your mobile device, which has a QR code. So that's the only piece, right? That's your QR code, like your Apple Pay or whatever you're using, mm -hmm. your wallet. So you mm -hmm. walk in and boom, that's it. Yeah. Now you go out around and you start taking the stuff off the shelves. Now I haven't been there yet, so I've just seen video of it. Keyword being video of it. It's all cameras. It's cameras all over the entire retail store that's hundreds looking at you of them and looking this at one the in product Seattle, hundreds. and look at hundreds of them that are all looking at the product and if you look at the product it has some kind of a coding system on it and I you know again I, I've been trying to get a little bit of the research I know that's the same cameras they're using in the self-driving car or similar cameras I know it's the one they're using in their drones it's in there and it's that's the underlying technology the software piece is also part of what's in those those two pieces so the third piece now they've added it to this retail component where the cameras are tracking. So if I take that, that product, look at it, it's, it's read the dots, it knows you put it in the bag. If you take it out and put it back on the wrong shelf, it doesn't know, it knows, okay, wait, that went there. Um, I guess a, a clerk is alerted, they go take that product, put it back in the right shelf where it's supposed to be, or if it's perishable, it should be, they dump it, whatever the case may be, but so it's cameras. It's cameras looking at some kind of in, in, in signature um, on the item. On the item and on the shelf. Oh, it goes the in shelf, and out because the shelf. you, you want to, in and out. okay, so the shelf the also. Shel the shelf is also. And there's a map, of course, of everything, everything on the shelf. Everything the, the, on the, the shelf. The system knows where everything is. Everything is. So, so, so you know, so inventory is being, so they're controlling everything. Inventory, date, time stamps of when the product was manufactured. Who knows all, all the things that are going on with that particular piece of what's happening in the retail grocery industry. Pretty fascinating. Okay, but I want to give you the test they talked about in the article where the guy puts a cloth over it or a towel yes. uh, before he removes it from the shelf so you can't see it. And uh, I don't know if he knew there were cameras, I don't know what he, he was testing, but he puts a cloth over, he removes it, and still Amazon knew that he took it off the shelf. So, so how did they know? How did they know that? So here's how you start looking at it, okay? So like, remember I said the cameras were on the shelf? There was a product on that shelf. Like, you know instantly that when one was gone, there's one less. If I walked away, it knows there's one less. You've got it. Yeah, you've got it's depleted. What's on the shelf? Yeah, it's multiple views and the logic of in everything the software, in the store. Right? I take the cup. I put the, take the cup off the shelf. Boom, depleted. I put the cup back on the shelf. It was back. So it's, it's the combinations of all of those. Okay, those but how about the wrong stuff. shelf? He puts it back on the wrong shelf. Wrong shelf because now it's, again the, the cup itself has its code on it. Camera reads it on the wrong shelf. Someone notified, you can move it back and put it on the right shelf. You know shelf. what this smells like, Gordon? It smells like artificial intelligence to That's me. That's right. And by the way, at the Pacific Telecommunications Conference today, it wasn't about telecommunications. It was about the internet, and it was about artificial uh, intelligence. AI and everything's happening. Whole, the whole thing comes together now. And if uh, to plug Hibachi Talk, you go back and look about, I'd say maybe about 75 shows ago, we did a whole show on where AI was going. It's going so a lot, lot faster now, I tell you. And it's moving. So, if, you know, if you, so this is one system is watching the signature on the product. Right. Another system is watching the shelf. Another system is watching the guy. Another system you. is watching the map of what's on the shelf. Yeah. So it's, it's like, it's not one thing. It's multiple things, all yeah. those things happening. Yeah. So you were going to, so I was. Gonna, I was uh, okay, well, before we get to that, okay. let's figure out how we can game it. Oh, there's someone doing it right now. I'm sure. Oh, yeah. They there's, read about this in the newspaper. Yeah, they got to figure oh, out how to the game moment it. This, the moment this opened, and, you know, Amazon has a whole group that try to game it, too. So, I mean, they're going to sit there, and they're saying, there's a group out there saying, okay, we're going to figure out a way to game it. And I know the first thing I would try to do, first thing I would try to do, get into the camera system. That's yeah. where I would look. I yeah. wouldn't look at the underlying software, the servers, or all of that. Yeah. I would look... Is there a way that I can get into the camera system? Is there some piece of um, firmware or something that allows me to hack into the camera system? Now, I'm sure Amazon's thought of that, but it's been the major vulnerability for years. Remember about a few years ago, people were saying, yeah. go online, I can show you the cameras looking into your bedroom, yeah, looking yeah. into your living room. Yeah, yeah. Samsung had it on the television. They were looking at everything you were doing yeah, on I the remember TV that. you yeah, bought. Yeah. They had all that. So, so to me, I would go, okay, let me start looking at the camera how about the identity system where you put the, the, the bar, the code 
on the on the, on the you know the the thing yeah. with the platform when you come in you come in identify yourself if you use a false identity you can buy a lot of groceries so which I come back and I go there's more to it than just the identity on the product itself the towel I'll use the towel again the multiple, multiple multiple sources AI is sorting out it, yeah. sorting out all of those kinds of things is there going are they going to find flaws and bugs in it you bet but again, the store is an experimental store. To, why? To help them with all of this. And this is low margin retail. So why not pick groceries? It's the best thing. They're not stealing televisions. They're not stealing computers. They're stealing oranges, apples. You know, it's a good test bed. It's a good it's test bed for yeah, this yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. You're, you know, Amazon loses money all the time anyway. And they put money, all they do is put their money back into technology. I mean, just always putting it back in. This is just a way for them to, to find the bugs and then work it out and make it more of a solid You're right. Form. After that, it'll be something expensive. And then guess who buys it? Walmart, Target. Well, let's Home talk Depot, about that. Lowe's. Anybody, anybody that's in, a, in the retail business. Well, we were talking about, uh, in the break, we were talking about what if China wants this? Mm -hmm. would, would Amazon be able to sell it to China? Now, there isn't an Amazon per se yeah. in, in, in China. But assuming they did want to do that, wouldn't that be a showstop? In other words, that the Chinese would copy this immediately. Oh, that's why you wouldn't sell it to them. You wouldn't. You wouldn't sell it to You're them. You're not going to sell it. They find out everything immediately. Yeah, and then they're going to come out with their own version yeah, of it. They're probably going to come out with their own version. Now, there's, I bet there's a whole bunch of guys read that article this morning trying to figure out how to do it the Chinese way. Oh yeah. I think, yeah. When the BBC published it within hours, you can guarantee <laughs> they were, everyone was online trying to get into that particular location. I mean, you can go to a map, you can go to Google Maps to show you the actual location of the store. Yeah. It's right there. Yeah. Hours of operation. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, you know, so but this will change retail, because yes. first it's food, then it's something else. Before you know it, it's jewelry or some, you know, some really expensive item, and and it'll be safe enough to to protect the the, the retailer. So Amazon is gonna is gonna try to hold this secret because this system is worth a fortune upon a fortune. Billions of dollars. Billions. Yeah. Yeah. Billions. Yeah, I mean, what retailer wouldn't want this? Right. Think about all the money the retailer would save just in labor. Yeah. Incredible. Yeah, so you think, so you go back and think, of, even the little ma pa retailers, they, they may not use it right now, but guess what? They're using point of sale systems when you walk into their little, sure. one, you know, who would ever think that they would go from their little manual cash register to point of sale systems, right? Because yeah. you have credit cards. You, you know, no one yeah. walks in and pays cash. Yeah. Yeah. When someone right, says right. cash only, it's like, who walks around with cash? Yeah. So if you're Amazon, and this is really, this is sort of a legal question now. If you're Amazon and you have this incredibly valuable system that you spent a lot of money, I mean, because they, this is, right. this, they spent more money than it really justified by groceries yes. um, to make this happen. How do you propagate, you know, proliferate, sell this system across the world, which the world will be wanting it, I think, everywhere. How do you sell it? Um, what, what kind of arrangement is that? Do you sell it? Do you lease it? Maybe you take over all of real estate. You wind up owning all the retail establishments everywhere. You're the massive Maybe. point of sale system of the world, right? Yes. Amazon Web Services. Yes. I control. You want, you, want, you want to use our technology? Then you come into Amazon POS, Amazon point of sale, right? I just made that. I just, Amazon, if you use that, I want a royalty. <laughs> anyway, so, <laughs> but APOS, so I come in with my APOS. I love it. And I, I, I walk in there, I, I walk out, and I, I will sell you that technology that you can use in your uh, retail store. I mean, I, I go to, if you take grocery stores now, like Safeway, they got self checkout. Someone developed that piece of technology that's using in there, and either Safeway or Foodland, whoever, they purchase it or lease it or use whatever. And the underlying software was developed by somebody. They purchase it and lease yeah. it. Chances are lease it. Chances yeah. are it's now running in the cloud. Yeah. So they're just paying a monthly fee. Yeah. Pay, by, pay by the drink. Yeah. So this would be completely integrated. Yeah. This is, this is a turnkey in the, you know, in the fullest sense you can imagine. They would never just sell you the, the reader, the, the platform. They would never just sell you some cameras and software. They would never, they would sell you the whole, the, the whole store. The whole store. Everything. The whole package. And what if you have someone that's reselling it for Amazon? So here we go back to it. Let's say I become an Amazon APOS reseller and installer and support person. So I come into your retail outlet. I manage all of that and put that in for you. And you just pay a monthly fee for it to Amazon, who then re reimburses me a portion of it for managing it That's for That's what them. I'm thinking. Opportunities just all over the place. So they don't would... give me this story about all these poor cashiers that, boom, that the merchants uh, don't want to do the job anyway. Yeah, forget we it. We just created thousands of other higher paying jobs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know, you just imagine, so Amazon says, okay, we're going to sell it. You want it? We're going to sell it to you. 
and you, you get everything. You, you, you have to take it. You must take everything. The, you know, the reader, the cameras, the software, a little box. You never get inside the box. And we will install it for you, no problem. Yeah. Okay. They're going to contract someone into each of the states. Yeah. And, and, and we'll service it for you. Yeah. And you never get to see how it works. You never get to understand the AI involved because nope. that's pr proprietary. Because we're not even going to let you in on any of the, okay. the elements here. The only thing, I, I, you know, this is what I think, the only thing, okay, that you do, the new, the modern 21st century retailer, is you tell us what you want to put on the shelves. And we'll punch that in, or you punch it in on an interface of what you want and who supplies it and the, and the pricing and all that. That's all you do. And we know your buying patterns. Here's the other, forget, they, <laughs> they know your and my buying patterns. And I'll give you a perfect example of that. Walmart does that today. I have a friend of mine told me a story that, um, a female, and she says when it's that time of the month for her, about a week before that, she gets a coupon, either comes on her email or whatever, <laughs> letting her know that certain things that she may need, <laughs> and it comes from one of the retailers. So they already know. Yeah, and it, it's sure. like, wait, how do you even know? Because once or twice you came into that retailer, you bought what you needed, and now they know that you need that on that. And that would be time. part of the package, and wouldn't it? that's part of all so of your So now what you're packs. saying is that the guy who swipes, the, the customer, his customer information is going to go to Amazon, too. Yeah. They're going to know the customers. This is getting scary. And they know what aisle you go to first, right? They're going to know, you're going to know, oh, when, when Gordon walks in, he always goes over to this aisle first, he goes to this aisle second, they start to know your patterns, there's going to be um, advertising kiosks down at the ends of the rows that are going to hit you when you walk by. Yeah, right, and talk to you and send messages on your cell on phone. Your cell phone. You come down here, we got a special sale going on. Yeah, right now. You know, walk in there, it's just glistening with, with all kinds of, you know, computer. You know, the problem though, I think, is that Amazon, which was pretty aggressive, don't you think? <laughs> Amazon. Oh, never noticed. That. <laughs> never, never noticed. Amazon wants to do this. They want to own the whole thing. They just want the uh, you know retailer to pay them for that system. Yeah. He takes the risk, um, and he has to choose the products, and he has to figure out what the, the spread is. Right. Although Amazon will know the spread. Exactly. He'll know. They'll know his cost of goods. Yeah. They'll know that. They'll they'll know everything. What are they going to be able to do to the manufacturer? So they're, they're, they're they'll still, have all this they're still information. They're part of the Walmart model too, because you know Walmart dictates to the managed manufacturers in some products, um, packaging, how many to put in it. They you know all okay. They, they have rooms you sit in with Walmart, and they walk you through how you're going to change your product to get it yeah. on their shelf. So you know, to me, the big challenge for Amazon, I mean, given its aggressive and brilliant creativity, is how how to not do it all in one shot. You got to roll it out piece by piece. Otherwise, they will terrify retailers. Well, and scare they're them already away. terrifying. The, well, the, 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 some of the media are already terrified. I've watched some of the news, and they're, oh, they're just killing me. But anyway, <laughs> so they're already terrified about what this is, what this is, is going to do. But you know, Amazon has a million employees. A million employees. Uh, and, and, is that and, right? Yeah, a million employees. Got it. And so, and one of the things, and we're going to talk about this on. I'm going to plug my show again. We're going to talk about what's happening in the world of healthcare insurance, and. Amazon is going to be a big player in that space. Why do they need to go to a third party? Why don't they become their own insurance company? Sure, they got the they the got a million list. they got a million they, subscribers and they already. got hundreds of millions of customers. Yeah, and hundreds of millions of customers. And what they're going to do to change this industry? And you watch what's going to happen in that space. So they're they're something else, man. Yeah, where where where, where actually does it does it stop? Where does it stop? And where, where does, does Hawaii stop? get involved? Yes. Well, let's talk about Hawaii because. This is going to be, you know, disruptive. It is just thinking about it. You know that. Mm -hmm. And can Hawaii do this? Can Hawaii retailers do this? Because they're going to have to belly up to it. They're going to have to take risks. They have to raise money. They have to change their systems. They have to terminate some employees too. Or they move them into different positions. I don't. I, I don't. It's, I'm, it's, I'm, it's I'm, a I'm remake of the mind, business. Yeah, my, it's the remake of the business. You know, will they be hiring more? That may be. That may be a story. A question. It's like okay, maybe they might not hire as many. But again, if I go back and look at what the cost of hiring is in Hawaii, one of the things that you would want to do is reduce the number of employees because that's your largest cost. Not only from a payroll standpoint, it's your uh, payroll taxes, health, you know, prepaid health that you have to pay with more than 20 employees. You're, you have a burden as an employer in Hawaii, and this state government isn't doing anything to make it better. Sure. Oh, by the way, we tax food in this state, too. One of the few states in the country that tax food and drugs. And drugs. 
Yeah. So, so, I mean, if the legislators want to do something on this, they better open up their eyes on this kind of stuff and stop, stop taxing yes. these things. You know who the jobs will be, though? It's very interesting, because yeah. I think that Amazon will create a kind of um, console, uh, a kind of software, where the retailer comes and says, he wants to carry this kind of product, this kind of milk, for example. And here's his source, and this is, uh, you know, the cost of it, and this is the, he wants to charge retail price. Somebody has to figure that out. And you have to figure it out more carefully all the time if you want to compete. So you, you need a smart employee mm -hmm. with that console and that software, you know, reaching out to the world, the entire market, and figuring out exactly what to buy, what to charge. This And this can make it or break it for the 21st century retailer. Okay, so I'll throw you the next thing. Now I've got your buying patterns. I've got the stores. So why do I even need the store? I already got your buying patterns. I've got delivery with e-pallet, the, 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 driver, the driverless truck that is a delivery truck. I've got drones that can deliver it to your home. What if your groceries just get delivered to you? I already know what your patterns are. Yeah. I send you an alert. You know, do you want to get some milk, some eggs, this, this, and this? We'll have it to you by tomorrow, all delivered to your doorstep. Yeah. Now, the well, cost, what you couldn't book, pick up at the grocery store and put in your bag and walk out, and walk out. we'll deliver it to you. Yeah, and Everything. And, and we'll, and we'll, we'll just deliver it to you. Okay, Gordon, now, now I want to ask you, you know, like, sort of the end of the line questions on this. So, I mean, <laughs> the is, this, of the is line. this a world we want to live in? The beginning. I, uh, do you think you have it's a, a choice? It's a little scary. Do you think you have a choice? <laughs> do you really think you have a choice? Well, if... You can elect not to go into that grocery store. Yeah. People can elect not to go to Costco or Sam's Club. Yeah. You know, these, I'm never going to use big box. Okay, don't. Yeah, but, but I'll, know, pay, the, I'll wind up paying more at the mom and pop. Yeah, they're going to pay more at the and, and they may, may be okay doing that. And if you can't yeah. want to and you can, go right ahead. But, you know, my, in my experience, 95 plus percent of the world changes because it's, it's a, you, 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 if I can get it for 30 or 40 percent less down the okay, street, but what, you, gonna what go. you're talking about is the consolidation of many, many businesses, not just grocery stores, but all stores, all retail, you know, could be consolidated. Amazon is really... Got it. Got a tiger by the tail right. here. So what happens then? Where all the mom and pops go out of business, and everything you know is in a big box situation, whether it's online or a or virtual in, in big a box, virtual big box or a real big box. Yeah. It's all a big box, and the little guys just can't co possibly compete. Amazon could make that happen really easily. So what kind of world is that in Hawaii or elsewhere where you don't have mom and pop? Uh, you know, businesses yeah. of any kind. Well, and, and Hawaii is one of the few places that still has a lot of it the does. small mom and pops. It now, does. Now, there are some big names, we'll call them small and pops, but you look like the ABC stores and things that are still on the corners of those kinds of locations and so on. I think some of those will still stay around. Now, but they will use, and they'll use some of the older technologies, point-of-sale systems, which you would never think they would use, um, instead of the cash register that they have. I mean, the, there'll still be some of that. I don't think they'll all go away. But I think from the most part, you're not. It's, it's going to be like the, the way of the payphone. Find me a payphone. Where's her payphone? There's one on Fourth Street, by the way. Is that right? Yeah, I'll take a picture there's, of it. There's a yeah. payphone on Fourth Street. There's also a phone over at Kahala Mall where you can call the cab company. Yeah. From a wall phone. Yeah. But it might, might I digress. But yeah. the, it's going to go the way. Of, it's going to go the way of those technologies. Yeah. And and someday, um, you know, uh, some kid will ask his parents, uh, "Were you around when they had grocery stores?" Yeah. I, I don't know any grocery. There's no grocery stores yeah. anymore. Were you around? I heard the guys rode bicycles yeah. and delivered groceries off bicycles. Yeah, dinosaurs. Yeah. Yeah. Who would remember? So, and this means, Gordon. Final thought. This means it will change our society. Changing. This, thank it's you. Changing. <laughs> okay. And and the trick is you got to follow the action. You got to see what's going on with Amazon, uh, Amazon Go, and all the other Amazon things, and the and the people who will follow it and also come up with disruptive yeah. ideas. So, do you know that um, the, the airport by uh, the uh, McDonald's by airport had no tellers for about a month? You paid only by the kiosk. I noticed now that they've got a couple of tellers, so they adjusted. So, who knows? That may have to adjust. There may be a combination of both. The human factor may not totally go sure. away. Sure, but um, <clears throat> I, I tell you what I think, though. They had the tellers because of the cashiers because there was some issue about it, and somebody didn't like it or it didn't work, and, and they got to you know, retrench a little bit. And, and while they got these live tellers there, they're working in the back room to perfect that system so they don't need any live. You bet. So that's what's going to happen. And, and Amazon is using grocery stores because of the low margin to start there, but you know, it's eventually it's going to go to the 
hardscape type products or, you know, that you're going to purchase. Wouldn't it be great if we all let it cars? Imagine if you didn't have to deal with a car salesman. Imagine. Wouldn't that it's be It's already awesome? happening with Tesla. Yeah, yeah. it's yeah. already happening with Tesla. Yeah. You know, and they got the retail outlet and yeah. so on. But yeah, and um, with Carfax, you can go online and pre-price and walk in and not negotiate for yeah. four or five hours. Yeah. But just if you, if you could just do it that it's way. It's happening. Or um, technology or, or any heavy goods. Just had a thought. Okay. Didn't Amazon recently, within the last few months, buy Whole Foods? Yes. It's made to order. For this very thing, isn't it? There you go, dude. It's happening. There you go. I wonder if they knew at the moment they bought Whole Foods that they had this Amazon Go thing ready to go in Seattle. I'll bet a Bitcoin on it. A big one. Oh, Bitcoin was trading not all, it's about 11,000 11, yeah. right now. But yeah, but um, um, I bet a Bitcoin. You know, they you know, knew. There, there are witnesses watching you, Gordon. I know. Thank you, Gordon. I knew it. Thank Gordon you, Gordon Bruce. Wow, Texar, thank Jay, you so nice much. To see you, Jay. Aloha.